This is Jimmy D with your Scrutinizer Minute. Jimmy D here, and I want to thank you for downloading Scrutinizer. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that you want to get that deeper visibility and the security forensics that Scrutinizer is able to provide, but for right now, you really just want to get it up and running and get the reports that you're looking for. Um, and that's why right now, today, we're going to go through setting up Scrutinizer, setting up a device to send NetFlow to it, and of course, getting some reports on it. So let's check it out. Okay, the first thing we need to do is enable that device to send flow to Scrutinizer. I recommend going to Plixer.com, clicking on Services and Support, and then FAQ. Here, go to Question 9, How do I enable NetFlow or SFlow on my router slash switch? Click on this and follow the link. From here, we have all the instructions you'll need to configure your device to send flow. Don't worry about it. If you need help with it or want somebody to walk through it with you, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to do that. Once you've started sending flow to Scrutinizer, click on Admin, Definitions, Manage Exporters, and you'll see all the devices sending flow. The next step is to set up SNMP. We use SNMP to get the if aliases, the if index numbers, and port speeds. So what you do on that device is click Define a Credential. And then over here, you'll choose Define a Credential again. It's going to pop you up to this screen. Click New and fill in this information. That's going to give you a new profile to select. Choose that profile and then click Save. Then click Update SNMP. It will then do a walk to that device and get all of that information. Then click on the green LED for that device and you'll see that we have the descripts, we have the interface names, and the port speeds. If you need to define a custom description for an interface or custom bits in or out, you can do that also. Once you've done that, click on the status screen. Here you're going to see the top talking devices and interfaces bubble up to the top. Also, you'll see that new device in ungrouped. Later on, you'll be able to add that device to other groups and report on it. There you go. A quick introduction on how to use Scrutinizer. Now, there's a lot more that it can do for your network, so make sure you check out the next in this series or any of the blogs on NetflowNights.com. Well, that's it for today. This is Jimmy D with your Scrutinizer Minute.